today to kind of take some discussions today. We can identify some real good next steps and keep this conversation going. We partnered with uh, Public Policy Associates three years ago in hosting the uh, Greater Lansing Diversity um, uh, Summit at the Lansing Center. It was a great conversation. And the, the biggest disappointment, I think, in walking out of there is that that steering committee that we had brought together, we, when the program was over, we sort of we sort of split up and then things didn't move forward. And so we're very pleased that uh, with the help of LCC and LEAP and kind of getting this back on track and bringing us together this morning. So I'm going to now turn it over to Willard Walker. Willard is a senior policy uh, consultant with Public Policy Associates. And Willard's gonna serve as our facilitator and moderator for the rest of the program this morning. And you guys are in major trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Good morning. Uh, I, I was in DC yesterday um, at a program where the president was announcing the, the young male of color of the Brothers Keepers program. And it was amazing to me that uh, the people who were there and the, the conversations about issues of, 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 of culture and equity and race, and particularly as it relates to young males of And I'm sitting there thinking about you guys. I thought the, the uh, CNN cameras were going to come on. I was going to give you a, you know, a wave or something. Yell at Lena and say, hey, how you doing? But the cameras didn't come on, so I couldn't do that. But anyway, the conversation was pretty much the same as what we've been carrying on here. Uh, what can communities do to begin to respond to questions and issues and concerns, systemic issues, deep-rooted issues, historical issues that continue to affect our communities, particularly our minority communities. And how do we organize? How do we think about it? Who do we ask to help us think about it? So that we can begin to answer Continuously say that we want Lansing to become a welcome, welcome, welcoming place. That we want people to want to move here, want to raise their families here, want to send their kids to school here. But yet, in the true sense of that conversation, Lansing is not what we want it to be. Lansing is not that warm, welcoming place for everybody. So we've asked you, and we've been talking about, as Tim mentioned, we've been talking about how do we, how do we do our part to work in Lansing to make it a welcoming place. I met two people from uh, Michigan yesterday in D.C. One young lady had just finished MSU, um, and she worked for a joint center for political and economic studies over there. So we did the go green, go white stuff. And then I met another young lady who just finished U of M. She's looking for a job. Well, she's over there looking for a job, and she wants to work here. She's got a PhD in research, political research. Now, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> sounds pretty good to me. She spent a lot of time getting it. So why is she not here looking for a job? Why is she not here? She wants to be here. That's what she said. So of course I said, send me a resume. I'm going to take it to the chamber, <laughs> give it to Tim. I take it to the Middle East Lansing and say, look, here's a young lady who wants to Those are the kinds of, of, of questions, those are the kinds of issues that we ought to begin to focus on. And so in order to get there, as Tim said, we've been thinking this, thinking about this for like about four or five years. Now we've done some things. Lansing is not, or East Lansing, I should say, or the whole area. Some things are being done, but, the, but they're being done in isolation. So how do we collectively think about, study, construct a plan of 
some directness for this whole tri-county area to begin to look at, to begin to think about. As we think through, from all of the areas that you from, how does my organization play a role here? We have employees, we have private sector, we have public sector, we have educators, we have uh, social workers and social services, we have all of the sectors covered. So how do we collectively begin to think about this? So if you were wondering why you were invited here this morning, that's a part of it. Okay? Now we're going to begin by having Dr. Rosen, Larry Rosen, who is a colleague of mine. Um, I worry him all the time. I'm in his office bothering him. But he's going to do his presentation and pay attention to the data. Because that's what we have to do. The trends are changing. Think about 10 years from now when you need workers. Where are you going to find them? Who are they going to be? Think about how we can use, can best use the students coming out of the Lansing Community College, students coming out of Michigan State University. How can we help them stay home? 